My name is uh, Craig Bullock and I'm an environmental economist here in the school and um, the job of an environmental economist is essentially to ensure that the the value of the environment is properly represented in decision making and policy making. Uh, the reason being is that the environment which is so important to us in relation to uh, provision of food, shelter, amenity, health, well-being um, <clears throat> often gets neglected in decision making and treated as uh, a free resource, when in actual fact we all know that the, the environment is a, a finite, finite resource. Um, and I suppose as an environmental economist, very often we're, we're using methodologies which try and establish that the, the environment is properly valued. Uh, sometimes those, in, those methodologies might involve um, valuing the environment in monetary terms. The reason being is that money is seen as a, a common metric uh, which is easily understandable by by policymakers, so that's one of the things that we, we might do in this department. In terms of ongoing research, we, uh, I myself am involved at the moment, I have a couple of projects, one which is looking at um, ecosystem services, and that's the, essentially the contribution that the ecosystem makes to uh, people's well-being in terms of provision of food, provision of uh, amenity, uh, uh, provision of um, services which uh, regulate uh, water supply, water quality, those types of things. And I'm looking at valuing those ecosystem services in the context of the uh, European Environmental Liabilities Directive, uh, which is, uh, provides um, uh, developers potentially with an opportunity to, to compensate society for negative impacts on the environment through the creation of new environmental goods, like um, it could be a new sort of extension to a uh, designated nature reserve or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm also doing work on climate change. There's quite a few of us here doing work on climate change, uh, both in terms of uh, policy, how we can improve policy, how we can ensure that uh, carbon, carbon dioxide can be valued, as I was describing, and uh, traded within a marketplace, uh, providing incentives to reduce emissions of, uh, of carbon dioxide. Uh, I'm working on a project which is looking at um, uh, abatement, which is people's uh, response, potential response to, to climate change and how society could better adapt itself to dealing with the, the negative implications of climate change. Um, so that's, that's another project that I'm working on. And we've various other projects as well, which, uh, which may be combining some of the, the planning field as well. For instance, uh, we today have a seminar here on flooding and that would be uh, an issue that we'd be quite concerned about in this environment because it crosses in this, the school because it crosses between the environmental issues in terms of uh, causes of flooding, uh, management of flooding, the role of the natural environment in, in, in mitigating flooding and the policy response I suppose in terms of how we plan and manage our, our cities, our settlements etc. So that's some of the work that we're doing here.